I'm Jillian Whitney, wildlife biologist for the DCR Division of Water Supply Protection. The DCR wildlife staff monitors common loons on the Quabbin Reservoir, the Wachusett Reservoir, and some smaller water bodies within our watersheds. The DCR wildlife staff is stewards to the largest concentration of loons in the state of Massachusetts. Today I'm here to talk to you about our recycling program. The DCR runs a monofilament line and lead tackle recycling program within our watersheds. The reason we do this is because lead poisoning is a leading cause of death for common loons and entanglement is another cause of death for loons and also other wildlife. 44% of loon deaths are caused by lead poisoning and 9% by entanglement. In 2007, the DCR started a monofilament line recycling program. This program educated anglers on proper disposal of fishing line and gave them places to dispose of the fishing line. In 2017, we added the lead tackle recycling program. In Massachusetts, any lead tackle under an ounce is illegal to use, and today there are lots of alternatives. So if you launch your boat here at the Quabbin Reservoir, if you fish the shoreline here, if you fish the shoreline of Wachusett Reservoir, or along, around the Ware River watershed, you're probably likely going to come across some of these canisters. This one, the larger ones, are for the monofilament line recycling only, and these are for the lead tackle recycling only, please. And we're gonna see what's in these today. So this is a decent amount of fishing line, and each year we take it, we clean it out, and we weigh it and we have a formula that we use to determine the actual length of fishing line collected. And on average, we collect about 25 miles a year. For the lead, we do the same, we weigh it out and get, in it, get about three pounds to 13 pounds a year. As you can see, a piece of lead this size and even smaller is enough to kill a loon, even an eagle and other wildlife. So just out of this canister alone today, we've collected a very good amount of lead and fishing line. So I want to thank all the anglers who have taken the time to dispose of their fishing line and their lead tackle properly and ask that everyone continues to do so and take a look in your tackle boxes because I'm sure you might find some lead tackle in there and thank you very much.